This is called Unicorn Snotty Chunky Boogers. You know, actually, I like this. It's it's a booger, okay? What is that to back to the Salvatore? Yeah. All right, guys, so today I am going to be um, doing a little makeover on my giant buckets of slime, store-bought slime, and yeah. And uh, let's get straight on into the video. What, yo? All right, guys, first thing I'm gonna do is this crazy art, um, cotton candy scented, slimy, creamy slime, so yeah. There it is. I love these because they're so like glossy, but I don't like the color that much. This color, I don't like that much. Ooh, yes. All right guys, so for this, I think I should just change it into a better cotton candy slime. So yeah, just make it more resemble cotton candy. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some glue all, just some glue all, regular glue all. I love adding glue all to these um, slimes, guys, the Crazy Art Slimes. It like makes it so nice and glossy and it makes it so much better. And also this will lighten the color too. So uh, yeah, let's do this. This is Elmer's glue all, by the way, guys. Also very easy to mix. Ooh, this is already turning really pretty, guys. Improved slime with the glue all in it. I'm not done yet actually, so I guess it's not completely improved, but here it is halfway improved. <laughs> Just gotta get the rest of that glue. Does it still smell good? It kinda does. It never really smelled that good in the first place, to be honest. Alright, guys, so here it is. As you can see, it's a lot like thicker. And it kind of seems a bit like more glossy. I feel like I want to add some more glue, all, though. I feel like that will make it even better. Like that much. By the way, I have no idea if this works with just regular school glue. Um, and also clear glue, I'm not sure if it works, but I do definitely do not recommend trying it <laughs> because I try it with like other slimes and it seems like the clear glue usually like kind of overactivates the slimes a lot of times. So yeah, be careful with that if you're gonna try that. I think this is good now. Now we're gonna go ahead and add some foam beads. I'm all done. I even I took a little bit of this slime out so it would fit better because I'm gonna be putting some foam beads. I'm gonna keep it this color though. Anyways, I'm gonna put some of these foam beads, these pink ones. Alrighty, so we'll put some of those. And then some of these. They're like blue, tealish, green type deal. They are so pretty. These foam beads are so pretty, guys. And then of course, I'm gonna go ahead and put some of these beads too because I really liked how my other one turned out. So, yeah. Now let's do this. Yes. Wow, this is gorgeous. Oh my god, this is so much better, guys. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and add these stars too. These are so pretty. This is how crazy art should give their slimes. Yes. This is beautiful. I can't. This is amazing, guys. All right, now we go ahead and try and shove this back in the bucket. I hope it fits. And there we go. Oh, no, it doesn't fit. <laughs> guess we're going to have to take out a little bit, I guess, like that much. We are all done, that looks so much better now. Also guys, let me just give you a little update on my other one that I did a while ago, the teal pre-made slime. This one is my inspiration for the other one. I think it was, I think I liked this one a lot. I like this one a lot. I think it turned out very, very nice. So I hope the other one turns out very nice too, like this one. 
Alrighty guys, next thing I'm gonna do is this, ow, I hurt myself. Anyway, <laughs> is this fluffy slime um, thingamajigger. It is completely um, separated though, so yeah. Anyway, so let's go ahead and like try and mix it, I guess. We have the clay piece on top right here. I'm gonna try and take the clay piece off first. I thought that maybe the clay would like activate, but it didn't, and now it's a mess, and I need help. <laughs> let's just put some activator on there. All right, guys, so here is what I made. Um, this is just the clay part, though, and I'm gonna need to make the whole freaking bucket of this. Oh, what did I do? All right, guys, so I'm gonna try and start with this whole mess right here. Um, it's basically, I don't know what the heck it is, but uh, usually when I try and add clear glue to these store-bought slimes, it like over-activates, so I'm thinking, can I activate this with clear slime? We'll see in a second. No, you can't, all right. Well, that answers that. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and activate this, I guess. I hope it activates with this, because I feel like these store-bought slimes, like, they just, they're in a different dimension. They just act. But anyways, um, it seems like it's, it's working. All right, it's working. Let's see. This is interesting slime, guys. Let's add more activator. This is taking a lot of activator. I wonder what we're gonna do with this, guys. What should we do? Alright guys, so I'm all done with the slime. It's basically, it has like a clear slime texture, but like, like a jiggly clear slime. I was gonna add this clay part that I took out, but I don't think I am because I don't like it. It's like, it's weird. It gives it a weird texture and I don't like it. So I'm gonna get some of my own clay and put it in here. Alright, so here's some Daiso clay. All right, it's almost all mixed. It actually turned to a really pretty color. I'm wondering if I should add more clay or if I should leave it like this, because I don't know. I feel like if I add more clay, it might make it like harder, because it's already kind of getting hard. All right, you guys, so here it is all mixed, I think, kind of all mixed. <laughs> uh, also, I just remember, and you know how I said that it kind of like, the slime was like watered down glue? I just remembered I put glue inside it, so that's probably why. <laughs> anyway, so now I really love the color of this slime, but I think I'm gonna change it because this is a slime makeover, you know? Anyways, I think I'm gonna try and make it one of those inflatable bread slimes. I just made one like a little bit, like yesterday, and it actually turned out pretty good, so I'm gonna try it again. So first I'm gonna put a bunch of lotion so let's mix that in hopefully this makes it a bit like more soft because it's kind of like rippy right now Alrighty, it got a lot softer and a lot stretchier as you guys can see now I'm gonna go ahead and add a bunch of shade creep. This one I think is from the dollar store actually I just want to use it because I think it smells better it's like it's raspberry smell so yeah it smells so good Almost done. Okay, I love the color of how this turned out. I want to really keep it like this, but I don't know. What do you? I wish you guys could answer me right now, but you can't. <laughs> Cause I really love the color of this. All right, I'm all done. This is my fluffy butter slime. Alrighty, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some of these foam beads right here, these rainbow foam beads. Ooh, that actually looks really pretty. I think I'm gonna keep this color, it's so pretty. That is so pretty. And of course these marshmallow beads, I think they're called marshmallow beads, right? I'm gonna put some of those. I feel like they add spice to the slime. I gotta paint them though because I've seen how some of them, like on Instagram, people use, and they look so pretty when they're painted. All right, now I'm gonna put some of these because why not? I know I'm putting it on like all of them, but like they're so pretty. 
Ooh, this is becoming so beautiful, guys. Yes. All right, and now I'm gonna add some of these glitters. That one's like an iridescent, bluish kind of glitter. And then this one, this is like one of my favorites. I use it like on all the slimes because it's so pretty. It's a holographic tinsel or something like that. <laughs> Tizzle or tinsel? Tinsel. And then, oh yeah, this one right here. This one right here, this is from Walmart too. And this one is extra fine glitter. Um, it's just blue, very light blue. Oh, that looks so pretty. Okay, and I think I am all done. This is so beautiful, guys. Oh my gosh. It looks so good. Okay, I love these iridescent blue um, glitters in here because it kind of looks like, like, it reminds me of a blueberry, I don't know why. <laughs> but I really like this, guys. This one is so pretty. I love the color of this one. This one is amazing. <laughs> Should we do a little miniature makeover on this one, guys? <laughs> I think we should. We should put, make this like, put more blue in it. Okay, let's see. How is that gonna turn out? <laughs> this is weird clay, like it doesn't stretch. It's, I don't like it. <laughs> All right, well, that's the color it changed to. I don't know if I can do a makeover on this one because it's green, there's not really any other color it can change to. So, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty guys, next thing I'm gonna do is this uh, Nickelodeon slime, three pounds, uh, three colors and one slime, so let's do this. Alrighty, so we have three different colors, so I'm gonna do three different makeovers, I guess. <laughs> okay, so for this first one, what should we do? I wonder, Ugh, I don't know. Okay, I think what we should do is try and make this a cloud fluff, so I'm gonna try that out. <laughs> Alright. So, first what we need to do is we need to get some water, which I have a bowl of water right here. And then some Insta Snow! We should put some food coloring in here. Whoa, that looks so cool, what the heck? Why does this food coloring look like, like, like a bath bomb? <laughs> Alrighty, let's go ahead and put some snow in there. Doesn't it look so cool, oh my gosh. We need a lot more though. It's so pretty. Maybe we should just change the slime to a jelly slime because I feel like a cloud cream is going to be hard. <laughs> All right, so here's my little um, way of making a jelly slime. All you got to do is get your slime and then just put it inside the bowl and let it soak. Oh, whoa, that looks so cool, though. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we're going to go ahead and let this soak, and we can get started on the next slime. Next one we're going to do is this orange one. So let's just go ahead and take it out. All right, and I want to put some of this red magenta um, pigment in it. I want to see how that will turn out. This is a really nice slime. It's like a clear orange slime. Alrighty, put some pigment. I wonder how this is going to turn out. Ooh, that looks cool already. Oh my gosh. Whoa, this looks so cool, guys. All right, now it's like a magenta fiery slime. I don't think there's any food color I can add to this because it's already orange and like if I just add yellow, it's even become even more orange. So trust me, I've tried it before. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add some glitter though. So of course, you know, I gotta add some of my holographic tizzle glitter. I love that glitter. And then now I'm gonna add some of this pink glitter. Add some of this neon orange glitter. So pretty. Oh, this is gorgeous. Ooh, this is so pretty. This looks so cool, guys. All right, I think we are all done with this orange slime. Let's go ahead and put it back now. All right, let's do this green one now. What should, what should we do for this one? First, let's put some blue food coloring. Should we put blue or yellow, I wonder? Which one should we do? Okay, I decided I'm gonna add some ye um, yellow food coloring. You know what I love doing with food coloring? Watch, I like to spread it out with a spoon. Oh, that 
That is so weird. Is this yellow food coloring even gonna do anything? You can't really do much with green and like orange because it's already like, you can't put anything in it to make it a different color. It's already that color. <laughs> Yeah, they don't have to add blue to this because the yellow is not strong enough. Alright, let's see. Alright, well that is the color now. It's like a very dark green now. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add some of this um, glitter. And then I'm gonna add some of this foam beads. Cause I have no idea what to do with the slime. <laughs> Wonder how this will look. Like boogers, probably? Yep. <laughs> this is called Unicorn Snotty Chunky Boogers. It's unicorn because it has glitter in it. That's, that's it. You know, actually, I like this. It's, it's a booger, okay? It's chunky booger slime, I like it. It looks like a, one of those like giant, you know, giants in the cartoons where like it sneezes and it's just like and that thing, you know? No? Okay. <laughs> okay, that is it for that. Let's see if that fits in there though, because like I added foam beads so it might not fit anymore. Oh, oh, oh. It kind of overfills, but it's good. It's good. All right, guys, let's get back to the blue slime. I wonder how it's doing. Oh, it worked. See? It like absorbed the, did it? I'm not sure actually. But it looks really cool. Is, is this just me or is this just like the prettiest snow ever? I love the color of it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and continue mixing the snow or at least try mixing the snow. Let's add more. I don't know what the slime is supposed to be. Like, it was supposed to be a jelly kind of slime. Now it's kind of like a cloud cream. <laughs> I don't know what to do, guys. And it's also not stretchy. Like, what the heck? I think we need to add like some lotion to it. at the rest of the snow. Guys, this slime is becoming giant because of how much freaking snow there is in it now. What the heck? All right, I wanted it to be more purple though, and I thought the pink snow would do the job, but it didn't. Okay, there's such a mess of my freaking food coloring. Alrighty, this slime is so hard. I don't know why, because it was it was perfectly fine until I added the freaking snow, and now it's just being a spoiled brat. <laughs> the texture isn't the best, but why don't we just make it pretty? <laughs> just put some stars on it and some glitter. Ta-da. And voila, nobody will ever question its texture, okay? Because it's beautiful. <laughs> All right, guys, let's do some ASMR now. Okay. So very good at crack lacos. Uh. All right, let's stop playing with this slime, okay? <laughs> All right, we're gonna just put this in the bucket, and ta-da! There is my slime makeover. Beautiful. I think my favorite will probably be this green booger one. I like it a lot. <laughs> I think it's funny. The foamies in this actually stay very well inside. Then we have our orange one. Oh no, it's getting green. Oh no. It looks so pretty, guys. And we are all done. All right, guys, I just want to show you a little quick update of the cotton candy slime. I wanted to see how it's doing. Ooh, look at that. Look at how beautiful. Yes. Oh my God. It is gorgeous. Look at how beautiful it is. Oh my gosh, this one is so pretty. I cannot wait till all the bubbles go away, guys. All 
I love this one. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you comment down below if you guys want to do another one. And that is it. Thank you so much. And I hope I see you next time. Bye!